So now we have Andreas, um, who's the international sales manager for Slimbook. He's going to talk about Slimbook. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. I'm going to talk about a bit of history about our company. This is going to be more a history lesson, a bit of a reading, because we didn't have much time to prepare. So here we go. Uh, Slimbook, uh, it's a brand of Grupo Din, a company that was founded in 2007. In 2013, uh, we were selling laptops for other, from other manufacturers uh, with Ubuntu installed. But uh, we were not satisfied with their products and services. So in uh, 2015, uh, we released our own brand, uh, Slimbook. Uh, about ourselves, uh, we are uh, Linux users since 2003, using Debian Woody. Uh, in 2013, uh, we uh, we reala realized that if you wanted to buy a ultrabook with Linux uh, that will that will cost less than a thousand euros, uh, there wasn't none. There was none. Uh, with our experience in the market, uh, we studied the possibility to sell them ourselves. So uh, the objective uh, was to make a lightweight uh, and powerful laptop uh, encased in aluminum uh, and to give users the possibility to choose uh, between different Linux distributions. Uh, we looked for top 11 components and sadly, uh, we contacted Intel Spain, and they told, do, they told us that they just didn't sell Ultrabook uh, CPUs in Europe, uh, because these CPUs can only be sold attached to the motherboard, and there were factories in Europe who do that. Uh, in Spain, we have to, back then, we had the possibility to buy desktops, computers, assembled from different brands and components, but no laptops. Uh, uh, so we looked for China market. Um, uh, we found a motherboard manufacturer that worked with Fujitsu and Lenovo. Uh, the case and motherboard were sent assembled to Spain, and we mount the other components like RAM, the SSD, Wi-Fi, screen, keyboard language, etc. Uh, we installed the, we also installed the operating system that our customers chose. This is a couple of uh, pictures about our, the factory. About design, uh, we were looking for aluminum cases. Uh, to be lightweight, uh, a screen of minimum 13 inches, and a slime design. Uh, unfortunately, we only found designs similar to Apple's. Uh, in China, they usually make uh, designs similar to other brands, so it wasn't uh, our best uh, interest, but we went with it. The first year, uh, uh, in July, uh, well, from July uh, 2015 to October 2016, uh, we only worked with one design, uh, but with different uh, internal configurations. Uh, you can see here the, the specs of the, of the first uh, laptop. Uh, this is a, a picture of how we la how our motherboard looked look like uh, back then. And dura during this time, we also changed some components like the Wi-Fi due to customers' feedback. And we released more models. This is the Katana model released in November 2016 and also encased in aluminum. And you can see here the specs. And we also added the, uh, to be able to choose between two colors. Uh, we also 
uh, released the Excalibur model uh, in May 2017 and reviewed in November of the same year. And uh, you can see also the specs there. Uh, we re also uh, changed the touch pad. Uh, uh, our last laptop was the Slimbook Pro, uh, released in June of 2017, and reviewed uh, in October of the same year, and again in, the, in April of 2018. Uh, uh, it has a new Wi-Fi and uh, uh, QSD uh, resolution display. You can see also the specs there. Uh, we uh, released uh, the Katana 2 and Kaiden model in February 2018 in uh, an aluminum case. And uh, you can see also the specs there. And uh, we also released an all-in-one uh, computer uh, in 2000. April 2018, constructed with aluminum and PVC of a 24-inch uh, cube display and six USB ports and two output input speakers. Uh, we also are developers, so we build some tools to optimize our laptops, like a Slimbook battery, a Slimbook touch pads, a Slimbook user creator for uh, uh, dis distributions without an OEM installation. Uh, we also made a forum and we released uh, tutorials every week to the general public. Al we also, uh, feedback is more, is very important to us uh, because it allow, allow us to grow and improve. So this is our community manager. Uh, we usually get uh, very good feedback. I wonder why. So in the future, uh, who knows? Thank you for listening to this talk. Who's that guy? <laughs> that's, that's our community manager. You okay. can, he will kindly uh, answer any questions you have. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I did have an actual question. So um, uh, do you see a growth in volume year after year since you started with Slimbook? Like, uh, are you selling more laptops this year than last year, for example? Well, oh, I, I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, we are. Okay, and uh, as, as you grow, is it your intent to eventually be able to have your own uh, case designs to deviate from the Mac, Mac like uh, designs? Or? That's actually uh, some uh, confidential information. Okay. <laughs> I, I cannot disclare that here, so. Okay. Uh, I wasn't, uh, I, actually, I didn't want to answer questions, so <laughs> I think. That okay, I shut up now. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> So we, I think I'm going to end the talk here. Okay. Thank you.